Rob Runder for SMY.TV. The man to my right, Kevin Plawecki, Mets catching prospect. Your second consecutive big league camp. I'm just kind of curious, is it more comfortable this year because you were here last season? Yeah, absolutely. It's just uh, kind of have an idea of what to expect on a day-to-day basis and just have more familiarity with guys in the locker room, not kind of uh, learning everybody's names or not you know, trying to get to know everybody, but just kind of already having a relationship with everybody makes it a lot easier this time, this time around. Let's go back to your season from 2014. You start in Double A Binghamton, put up tremendous numbers, get called up to Triple A Las Vegas. A little bit of a struggle at times there, but for the most part, it seemed like you were coming around by the end. What were your thoughts on your season? I thought I was, you know, I was very happy with it, and uh, you know, the main thing I stayed healthy and uh, was able to, you know, to play just about every day, which was nice. Um, you know, it just took me about a week or so to adjust in Las Vegas, but. Um, you know, I think after that week, um, we just had a little tough week there. Just really could not find any, any hits. But uh, you know, I thought I, I, I started off pretty well and finished well, and, and uh, you know, I'm very happy with it. So when it comes to this camp, obviously you get to work with Travis Darno again. He's right now the major league catcher or the guy who's at least penciled in to be the big league everyday catcher. When it comes to that, d- does that change your mindset at all when you know that there is a guy that's ahead of you that is also young playing the same position? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, me and Travis are great, great friends on and off the field. We have a great relationship. So, um, you know, I think it's just important for me to, you know, learn as much as from Travis as I can, and and um, you know, use him and use the other guys in the locker room to to get better and improve my game, and and uh, just kind of let everything else take care of, you know, itself in a sense. So, just really kind of hard to worry about that. So many, so many decisions are out of my control, and um, you know, I'm just happy to be here and happy to be in such a great locker room with such great guys. When it comes to spring training, what is it specifically you're trying to work on right now? Oh, I just stay, stay consistent with, with my hitting approach, stay consistent catching-wise, just continue to learn and, and grow with our pitching staff right here. We got, we got great guys in the locker room, great pitching staff, you know, as we all know. So it's just important to continue to build my relationship with those guys and um, you know, so that you know, hopefully when that time does come, I'm not you know, a step behind and I'm just right alongside them you know, in, that, uh, um, you know, in, in that next jump with, with them. So um, you know, it's just important to keep learning and, and keep getting better got to ask you one question about off-season conditioning. Obviously, you, the rest of the group, or at least most of them, worked out with Mike Barwis, who's now doing the strength and conditioning for the Mets. Incredibly difficult program. How tough was that on you? Because I know you went through it for quite a while. Well, not only is it, is it good physically, it's, it's really good mentally. Um, you know, just a, it's a whole mental side of that you really can't teach. Um, but with this program, it, it really teaches that, um, you know, kind of grind and, uh, you know, grit that you really can't, uh, you know, you can't lift that, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, a, it's a great program, and I'm really happy I came down here in January to do it. And, uh, you know, Mike's a great guy. He'd do anything for us. So, um, you know, he has our best, best interest in mind, and, and I think as, as players we really take that to heart. You work with a great coaching staff in Las Vegas. You've got Wally Backman there. You've worked with Frank Viola quite a bit, especially with your interaction with the pitchers. How much does that help you having those guys who have already proven that they can do it at the big league level in the past, helping you right now at the AAA level? Yeah, I mean, Frank, Frank is an awesome guy. I've, I've had, uh, have had a chance to spend a couple seasons with him in Savannah and uh, last year in, in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas. So, I mean, he, he's just a great guy to be around. We all know he's just brings great energy. You know, he knows when to, when to turn it on and when to be serious, but he also knows, you know, how to have a good time. And I think that's what's important um, with him. Just, uh, you know, he, he can separate the baseball from, you know, from the locker room. And I think that's really important. And, uh, you know, he brings great insight to not only – you know, the pitching staff at me, you know, and that's really important. And, uh, you know, I really, really appreciate it. all he's done for me. And Wally, same way, you know, same way goes for him. He's a great manager to play under, and, and uh, you know, we have a lot of fun. Kevin, thanks for the time. Good luck not just in spring training but for the entire season. Thank you very much. It's Kevin Ploiecki on SMY.TV.